Good morning. We're in jail. So, first thing you do in jail is you talk to your girlfriend. And just by saying, leave it to me, you get one affection point. But that's not all. You can do it again. And you can do it again. And again. And again. And again. This took like, what, two hours in real time? Uh, like three minutes, maybe. Oh. And we're good on Tifa for the remainder forever. of the ever. Forever. Now, uh, depending on who you think about first here, um, except for Red 13, you get affection points there. So I go with Red 13. Is Barrett fucking losing his shit? I, I think so. Jesus Christ, Barrett. It's only been like 10 minutes. Fuck you, phone. <laughs> I wonder how Barrett's doing. Barrett's trying to understand things that he'll never understand. Now is that you just walking around in the cell waiting for that shit to go off? Yeah. Oh. You can you can walk around while this is happening. But you can't actually, you know, do anything besides just progress the text box. It would have been funny if just Cloud just, you know... Couldn't keep it in. Had to pace around. I wonder how Aerith is doing. Still her bodyguard, doing a terrible job. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, love triangle. I'm sorry, have you seen those affection values? So, we're gonna have to play the escapists in a couple of minutes here, try to escape this prison. at all okay good and just you know for good measure kind of hard it seems like a poor choice to leave a, a male and female locked in the same cell but what do i know i'm just a dude that's about to get wrecked by a hurricane Oh yeah, so this will be Maniac's last episode because he'll be dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks like someone left the door open. 
Well, I guess God I'll just... Game and Shinra. I guess I'll just leave. Oh. It's fucking Biggs, isn't it? He came back from the dead. Speaking of, if you hear me next episode, I resurrected from the dead and uh, am a zombie. So something's going on. That guard is dead and my cell was unlocked. No human could have done this? See, this is where that remake could really come in handy to see exactly why no human could have done this. Because he just, he just looks dead. He's just sliced in two or something. And now we're zoomed out. Yep, there's a dead person over there. Now the random encounters, uh... Get a little weird now. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Double crit. Seems everybody's dead. Oh, that's a lot of blood over there. Oh no, the Kool Aid man got out. Oh yeah, Kool Aid man. I forgot that thing was in there. Mm hmm. So that Genova specimen, which was Genova with no head, has uh, mysteriously broken out of its containment thing. And now we're following this blood trail. Like any good horror movie, follow the blood. Oh yes, of course. Always follow the blood. I do like they added blood stains on the floor for the random counter here. Just a neat little touch. Yeah, they went ahead and basically made a new uh, little encounter air arena for these uh, these bloody floors. Did you just get bioed? Uh, essentially, poison? yeah. Uh, poison. Bio deals poison, but it wasn't... The attack wasn't called bio, it was called, like, uh, something stupid. Hmm. This is the part where I realized that Aerith didn't have any materia equipped because I hadn't been using her in, in the party at all. When a party member gets forcefully taken out, do they just drop all their materia? Uh, yes. Although, there are certain points where your party will split up and it will ask you if you want to uh, remove the materia and equipment from them. That's not where the blood goes, it goes this way. Up this specific set of stairs.
That's the thing. That is a chance oh. to poison, I guess. Too bad, Aerith. You don't get a limerick. Right now, to use it. I guess fuck you. Whoa! Oh, hey, it's the president. He has a sword in his butt. Oh, no. <laughs> Barrett's ready to shoot at him, but he's already dead. I would have shot at him anyway. That sword must be Sephiroth's. No one else would have a giant, gaudy-ass sword like that. Look at it, it's huge. Uh, sure. Or Tifa's really tiny. What? Oh, Palmer. Barrett's head's kind of shaped funny. <laughs> it's kind of like flan shaped, you know? God damn it, now I want some flan. Oh, here's Rufus. Let's go say hi. Rufus Shinra is the president's ah, son. President's son. Don't introduce yourself <laughs> as a research specimen. <laughs> Have some respect for yourself. Come on. Who are you guys? Oh, well, let's introduce ourselves. Push him off the ledge. Yo, don't hit on my girl. Fuck you. You can have her though. Yeah. Oh, well, Rufus does things differently. Oh, wait, never mind. That's just as bad. How is this any different from what his dad did? Well, his dad controlled the world with money. He's just controlling it with fear and keeping all the money. Yeah, just shove him off the ledge. What are they gonna do? And so the party splits up. Remove Cloud and Tifa's materia. Yes. This took a little while. Normally I would have put music in at normal speed, but it sounded cool, so I just kept it. And now we're all set! Now we're playing as Aerith. Kill them all. 
Mother Kill says. all of them. Could you imagine if Aerith just had that kind of voice talking to her? Oh boy. These elevators are about to get much bigger. It's a boss fight! Just push him off the ledge. The name of this boss is Hundred Gunner. As you can see by its hundred guns. Sure. Yeah. That fire oh, laser. <laughs> okay. So this is a ranged boss fight. Um, you can't actually use any physical attacks because uh, because of the range, except for Barrett, who has a machine gun, so you can actually do range attacks. So you're stuck with basically just magic and limit breaks. Now the convenient thing about Limit Breaks is that, no matter what, they will always take priority in the turn order, even over enemy actions. Some games won't even let you do that. Roll too low on initiative, take damage. Now the astute among you will have noticed that I have two limit breaks I'm not using. There's a totally legitimate reason for that, and that is we have a second boss fight. Right now. This is see, uh, Hunter Chopper? Heli Gunner. Yeah. That was close. Jesus. Yeah. This thing only has about a thousand HP, so it's pretty easy to take down. Though if you add that to the HP pool of 100 gunner, it's about 2600, so it's quite a bit. God damn it, Aerith, stop getting poisoned. Wait, did she get poisoned before? Or was that another oh yeah. what, it doesn't matter. She's well it was uh she she's dead now, so oh, it right. doesn't matter. I'll just use a Phoenix down on her. First use of Phoenix down in the run. Alright, it was right there, Chinu was gonna use the Phoenix down and he died. So I'll get her up, because then... then she can do the healing. 
Or not. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say. Okay, fuck that. We go with Red 13, at least he's useful. And making me waste all of my Phoenix Downs. God damn it, Aerith. It's okay. I think we're alright now. Everybody's kind of alive. Oh, hey, we won. Yeah, I didn't need to even fucking use those. You could have just attacked the shit out of them. Maybe. But you need party members to be alive to get experience, right? Yeah, if they're dead yeah. at the end, they don't get the experience. And, here you go. Now we're going to fight Rufus. This is a... a... Boss rush, I guess. In a sense. I have to... You have to hit switch to remove materia from other members. Switch is a square. Now I have all my materia. So the interesting thing here is that uh, those two bosses we just fought combined had a health pool of 2,600. Rufus has a health pool of 500. So he's quite a bit easier to, to take down. And he's got a little, uh, a little doggy companion with him. Its name is Dark Nation. It only has 140 HP. Like I said, push him off the roof. Or ledge. Same shit. And now we're ready to take on Rufus. What was Sephiroth? I had to turn around to turn off my fan. An ancient. Ah, uh, that's why everybody's all up in arms about trying to find him. Oh, I didn't notice your weapon there. Oh yeah, this is Hard Edge. Looks like he broke off a, f a fan blade. And... So, first thing, we're just gonna take him out. Smack him with your fan blade. And then we'll poison him. And that's basically it. You just kind of whack him now. He's got a barrier on him. So the reason you take out the dog first is that uh, he can cast barrier on Rufus and then it, it makes physical attacks do less damage. And that's not good. And he runs away like a bitch. Or does he? Oh, yeah, he does. We got uh, a protect vest and a guard source for that. Nice. The, uh, so the, the source items are actually kind of interesting. Um, there's a source item for each, uh, each stat in the game, so power, guard, magic, mind, speed, and luck. Um, and each one you use on a party member will permanently increase that stat by one. He's got a reputation to protect. Can't go out there all alone. So the building's surrounded. Cloud and Tifa are nowhere to be seen. 
what do. Let me ask you this, Maniac. Yeah? As a eight or nine year old, what's the coolest fucking thing you could imagine? Don't Incredible answer that. Crash dummies? Oh. Because I'm gonna show you right now. Fucking motorcycles. Riding him down the stairs, fuck you. Do what I want, I'm Cloud. And that thing. I don't know where he got the motorcycle from, but he's got it. I don't remember if I sped this part up or cut it out completely, but uh, you can change your party up here. Okay, maybe I sped it up, or maybe I didn't do anything to it, I don't remember. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to mess with my... my. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I cut it out. Um, I'm just messing with this. See, I'm putting Barrett in the front and everyone else in the back row, because there's a boss fight immediately after this that attacks you from behind. Um, and since you're getting attacked from behind, it means anyone who's in the front row is now in the back row, and anyone who's in the back row now is in the front row. So it's easier to just swap their spaces before the boss fight, rather than doing it mid-fight. I'm really bad at this minigame. You have to... you have to just whack them with your sword and keep them from hitting the car. But I just kind of... Yeah, I'm not very good at this. Oh man, look at the sword sparking on the on the street. Boss fight's coming up now. Awesome. Beat his ass. Look at this thing! So, this guy's... pretty easy.
it's really just a whole lot of uh, whacking him with magic. Now he does have a tendency to uh, cast fire, so we can take that elemental materia and uh, put it in our armor with the fire materia and kind of negate some of that. Did I say what this boss was called? I don't remember. Motorball. If I didn't say. Motorball. All the limit breaks, all at once. But we only needed one. Cloud wants to go after Sephiroth, and everyone else wants to go with him, so... Kim. I guess we're... we're... getting ready to head out. That and most of the people here are homeless now. Yes, you have your bodyguard. Get him. It's Cloud. Everyone vote Cloud. I like that Cloud is voted leader, and then Barret is like, this is what we're doing. So, obviously, I'm going to take Barret. And I should take Aerith, right? Because, you know, <laughs> I'm yep. her bodyguard. What about Red 13? Enjoy your new bodyguard! Yeah. All right. Nice. Well, 
here we are in the world map. Oh, yeah. Now that we're on the world map, we can save whenever we want. Next episode will be all sorts of things. Definitely. Maybe for Maniac, he might be dead. Yeah. Like, actually, Goodbye. like, Miami is getting like 12 new assholes out of this so yeah it this is not no, this is not a pleasant hurricane people are like oh it's gonna pass by we'll, yeah, we'll see we'll see how many roofs get torn off oh my god there's not gonna be a miami so uh <laughs> good night goodbye goodbye forever <laughs> <laughs>